everything in Grasshopper is represented graphically. And by that I mean you get these boxes and the boxes are connected with some wires and that means something. So whenever we take a box like this one for example, whatever is on the left side, there are these three pins. These pins are inputs and there is one pin on the right side and that is an output. What does it actually mean? If I want to draw uh, a point in Rhino, I say draw point, which is a point command. And then it asks for inputs, it asks for a location and I tell Rhino the location is 150, 25, which is X, Y and Z coordinate. I press enter, it does something inside that we don't know what it is whatever it is, and it draws a point in the viewport, it's this one, and that's the output. So we basically have a command, we have inputs, and we have outputs also in Rhino, and the same way it works here in Crossover. So let's switch to the tab that is called Vector, and I will explain a bit later why are we going here. And there is a sub-menu here called Point, and in that sub-menu there is this button called Construct Point click it and then click again somewhere on this area which is called canvas. I click here and it creates this box here. The box is representing a command that is actually placing, um, um, that is actually performing something. I can zoom in. By the way you control it the same way as you control the orthogonal views in um, Rhino. So right drag you just pan, mouse um, mouse wheel, you zoom in, zoom out, or you can use control right button to, to actually zoom in, zoom out. So whatever we have on the left side is called inputs, whatever we have on the right side is called outputs. So for the inputs it, it requires X, Y and Z coordinates and on the right side as the output it gives us the point. Whatever happens inside is creating the point. And have a look here. We have here the point that I created directly in Rhino and we have a point here that is created by Grasshopper and it looks different. It's, it's a cross and it's red and I cannot select it. I will explain a bit later why cannot I select it. Um, so we're still we're doing now both, both of these. We are not only doing the intro to Grasshopper but also the basic logic and also the controls the way we zoom in and zoom out and we are already drawing a point. That's cool. That's what we are doing. So we are pro uh, proceeding pretty fast. So anyway. Um, now we have one component here. This box is called a component and we have no inputs and seemingly no outputs but it's not true entirely because it already does output a point here but it's a crossover point that is not selectable. Uh, whenever you place something here on the canvas, you can move it wherever you want, just drag it, just like this. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't really matter where is it placed, so this is your playground, you can do whatever you want here. You can place the components anywhere you want, it doesn't um, affect their performance at all. And the way I placed it here was, I clicked here and I placed it here. So one click, another click. Another option to do this when I select this and hit the delete button, I just delete the, uh, the component. Another way of placing a component on the canvas would be just dragging it. So I just dragged it. So single click, drag, release. Again, I deleted it. And there is another option how to do it. And this is the one that I use all the time. And I will encourage you to do it as well. But for the moment, it's going to be a bit too advanced. If you double click anywhere, left double click, anywhere on the canvas, you can search for the command that you want to have. And for, for me, this was a point. But in fact, I wanted to construct a point. So construct point. Uh, I, I made a typo. So this is the construct point. Click here and it plays the point here. If you look at the, the cheat sheet uh, on the page number four, all three of these uh, ways of placing component on the canvas described here. Here you've got the inputs and outputs that we are going to, to use um, uh, very soon. And there is one more thing that I want to show you. 
Um, Rhino, uh, Grasshopper can actually work in two different modes. One mode is called uh, show names and the other one is show icons, row icons. Um, there are two groups of people. One group really likes the icons, uh, one group really likes the, the, the names, I like the names. Uh, let me show you the difference. You have here in the, in the top panel, you have an icon that says this is something that creates, constructs a point. There is a little point and three arrows X, Y, Z that are pointing towards the point and it somehow tells you that this is something that is going to create a point for you. Um, but here when you place it, it only says PT in a black belt and it's not really the same icon like here. Even though if I hover here, it shows me the icon and it's okay. Um, also, if you look at this little arrow here, if I click it, you not only see the icon, you also see the name of the, of the component that you're looking for, 